Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to To Be Determined. Today, we are gonna be going over the first 10 profiles that were posted in my Discord. I asked everyone in my Discord to post the links to their Skycrypt so I can go over them and kind of help them out with what they need to work on. So we're gonna be doing this live with my YouTube live chat. So we're recording this live on stream, so be sure to tune into a stream if you wanna be in these videos or join the Discord and be sure to leave your Skycrypt in the For YouTube channel. You should add chat to the screen. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. I'm gonna figure that out eventually. Anyways, our first player is Mr. Regza SA. This is my editor actually. So uh, we're gonna go over his stats real quick. He's taming 26, mining 27. Forging needs some work, but I think everybody's does to be fair. Alchemy's pretty low as well. 29 combat though. His combat is not too bad. Very, very good. Um, so his skill average is 23.81, which is not terrible at all. Definitely not terrible. I think it counts carpentry now because carpentry everyone can get. You don't have to be VIP. But he is using Shadow Assassin armor with a chest plate that has not been upgraded yet. So I would work on this chest plate for sure. So you can livid frag that. That'll be really nice. He's got a crystal set. His fishing set, unstable dragon, glacite, full mineral set, not bad. Excuse me. He's got two different fishing sets here. So I'm guessing he uses this diver set, but uh, he is currently using a fabled livid dagger three starred with swarm two. So this is honestly not a bad setup considering your skill average and everything. He joined two years ago. He's got 4.7 mil coins in his purse. Okay, so not too bad at all. Okay, the accessory bag here is looking a little bit weak. For your stage in the game, this is not bad at all but that is definitely the big thing to be working on. Yeah, I think he's maxed out his accessory bag here. And you've got one enrichment that is missing, so I would put an enrichment on the shark tooth necklace if you can. That bag makes me sad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, for his stage in the game, it's not bad at all, but uh, definitely wanna upgrade your accessory bag so you can get more accessories. Pets, okay. You don't really have a great combat pet here. I mean, the baby Yeti's not bad, the epic tiger is not bad, but if you can get your hand on like a legendary griffin even, or just a legendary tiger would be really good. Melody's hair is missing. Wait, Melody's hair is missing? Bruh, that is... Yeah, I definitely want to get Melody's hair for sure. You can show missing accessories. Okay, yeah, I forgot about that. You don't have the wood affinity talent. Oh my goodness, man. You're killing me, Smalls. Okay, yeah, you definitely got some work to do on those talismans for sure. This is a pretty good profile, but like no excuse for not having a speed talisman. Or a night, the day and night crystals are cheap. Talisman of coins, wood affinity, vaccine. Those three are, are like just this whole row. This part, emerald ring, speed talisman, and all the way down here. Definitely you want to get frozen chicken as well. That one's pretty easy. And then the cat to the lynx talisman. That you definitely want to get. That one's really easy to do as well. Um, Talisman of power. That's all right. You don't have that. I think that's the main one. King talisman too is pretty easy. But yeah, like this top row here is like the main thing you want to get your hands on. Even the Beastmaster crest is good. So you can upgrade that. All right, let's move on down from the pets. Rod of legends. He's got a rod of legends. That's pretty good. Not bad. He's got a ruby drill, so it looks like he's been doing some mining. It's hard of the mountain tier four right now, so definitely want to work on that to start making some money. But honestly, for this stage of the game, you're doing really, really well for yourself. Just those talismans are the main thing. Okay, <laughs> got some unclaimed rewards in your spin pack master, so I would claim that. That'll help out a little bit. I think that gives a little extra crit damage or something. But uh, we're going to move on to number two now. Our second one is Mr. That Nerd Harry. Now, I already know Harry is a Chad. Yeah, skill average 40.89 and he only joined a year ago like my man has been playing this game super well very strategically the main thing i mean i'm not gonna judge anyone on their forging level forging is not fun but i'm kind of surprised he doesn't have mining 60 honestly with how much money he's got or alchemy 50 but combat 56 that's higher than my combat level so you can tell he's very heavy on the combat stuff but he's wearing an ancient hunt crimson helmet with the super good necron armor i don't have necron armor so uh wow very nice setup that he's got right here he's got a axe of the shredded dude that's kind of nice i think he's got yep a day axe as well with a juju short bow wand of atonement lord zombie sword he's got the whole nine yards here where is the mining set true what setup is this that's aurora this is like rancher's boots yep man does not have a mining set in his wardrobe interesting strategy does it show like your mining set here like your 
mining item. I don't think it does. But dude, that is a hot accessory bag. I'm not gonna lie. What's he missing? Oh yeah, this is like about as good as mine. I have a Reaper orb, but other than that, he's not really missing much compared to me. Another act looking sunshade. I would definitely get that one. That one's pretty easy. Tater talisman. I don't know. Might want to wait on that one. I don't know how expensive those are right now. But okay, candy relic, that one, beast master crest stuff. He's got a couple upgrades here that he can go for, but honestly, he's doing really well. If you do dungeons, you need expert ring. Yeah, I don't have an expert ring and I still need one of those. Where's expert rings? Right here. Yeah, I gotta get myself one of those. Doesn't it have a legendary tiger yet? That's actually kind of surprising. I would definitely get this to legendary. But my man has so many enderman pets and uncommon monkey pets. Holy cow. A little spam there. Looks like he's been doing Dugan. Oh yeah, he doesn't even have max heart of the mountain. So he's just kind of ignored mining a lot, it looks like, which is fine. It's kind of surprising that he's got this much. I think he's gotten like a giant sword drop and that's where a lot of the money comes from and he does you can see he does a lot of these floors and stuff he's done 82 necrons 375 satans like look that's a lot of runs on everything there slayers aren't too bad honestly if you've got the first three at level seven i'm not going to judge you too harshly you got one level eight so pretty good um e-man and blaze have been neglected a little bit but okay minion slots only 21 minion slots that's actually kind of crazy to me definitely would invest in minion slots here definitely would invest in some minion slots and he's got some collections max some not max that's fine he's got a lot of essence here that he's got saved up that's that's a good amount of wither essence but yeah not too bad harry quite the chad player I think he had a hype at one point, but it, he got scammed out of it as well. So pretty unfortunate there. But yeah, very good. Better good. I would say main things fishing. There's a couple missing talismans that are easy to get and mining. I mean, he's better than me, so I'm not going to judge. I'm, those are just the things I'm pointing out. All right, next we got Salami Broad. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. And his IG is Dr. Gruen Cole. Okay, let's see. Skill average 34.24 and he joined two years ago. So fishing is looking a little low. Foraging per usual. Mining is looking pretty low as well, but he's got his enchanting that's getting up there. So combat 36 as well he's got goldor's armor so it looks like he runs tank and dungeon but he has a warden helm with necron gear so he doesn't have to he's got sorrow set dang he's got really good armor sets here really nice armor set he's got a gemstone gauntlet with the max topaz gem in it not bad he's using a livid dagger as his main weapon still though that's kind of surprising i think there's a lot better weapons that he could be using than livid dagger but that's not too bad not too bad i would just say like maybe i think shadow Shadow Fury is better and can even get like I use Reaper Scythe and that's a little bit better but not too bad got some pretty good accessories here but I think he is also missing a Melody's hair so I would definitely get my hands on that if you can. And then he's missing day and night crystals as well. What else? Jungle amulet. Um, I think that's kind of the main one. Hunter talisman as well. But so there's a there's some work to be done on the talismans here for sure. But nothing too bad. Okay, he's got the tank set up with the blue whale. He's got some decent pets here. He's got a good mining pet. So definitely able to do all of that. Looks like he recently collected from some minions, but looks like you're kind of missing out on a legendary tiger as well. So I would get your hands on that if you can. But yeah, pets are a little weak. Accessories. There's a couple easy ones you can get. Um, gemstone gauntlet. It's pretty good. I'm not going to knock on the gemstone gauntlet, but not hard of the mountain tier seven yet. I would definitely work on your mining gear if you can. Catacombs 29. Not bad. Man's been doing some Dugans. Hasn't even started Blaze Slayer yet. That's fine. But minion slots. That's that's pretty weak, pretty weak on the minion slots. I would definitely work on your minion slots, especially these forging ones. If you just upgrade your forging minions here, it's really, really cheap and probably unlock one, at least one slot just from upgrading all these to like level 10 if you don't go all the way to level 11. But there's some easy ones in combat as well some mining it looks like farming like you've got some really easy upgrades that you can do here for really cheap and get yourself an extra minion slot start making more money every day that'll help out quite a bit okay looking kind of rough on the essence he's got good undead essence though um no crimson essence. uh that's all good not bad at all all right now we've got mr ivan and he said i've been busy with my mace when you come to mind just keep in mind i have a lot of stuff in chests all right i'll keep that in mind all right let's see the accessories okay missing melody's hair cat talisman studies the mineral talisman mineral talisman should be pretty cheap you just wait and buy it during coal beast master crest miss talisman yeah you've got a lot of missing talismans that's the main thing i'm seeing here that's a lot that seems to be a lot of people's issue is talismans um what mining setup glacite is seems to be the mining setup um that's not terrible i mean it, it's considering the jump 
from mining to sorrow it's pretty expensive but definitely work on the talismans for sure i would invest in some mining stuff as well if you can but mainly focus talismans for right now yeah i got you says he would have more in there if he had space yeah um so yeah just have some redstone minions down that'll help out Got some good pets here. Very nice. Very nice on the pets. That level 100 elephant and rabbit. You can definitely tell you're very farming focused. Um, I would try and get your hands on a tiger pet at least. Maybe a wither skeleton. I think that's a little cheaper. But that would definitely be good. He's building a base on his island right now. So that's why he's got all this stuff here. But yeah, definitely need to focus on mining and talismans at the moment. Have you viewed my profile while I was gone? Not yet. Kata 16, not too bad. Got a rod of legends and a magma rod. So not too shabby at all dang your cat at 16 the amount of runs is pretty low so i didn't realize the scaling was that easy slayer's been neglected a little bit i think there's a lot of things that have been neglected a little bit you can tell that you're mainly a farming game uh minion slots could use a little work but i would focus that money on talismans right now then maybe on mining but you can definitely tell you enjoy farming quite a bit which nothing wrong with that at all but yeah if i were to say the main things to focus on slayer's Talismans, mining, those would be the main three. Part of the mountain is pretty low, yeah. So those three, main thing, not too shabby. I was near 773 in melons, so oh yeah, so he's melon king, so he focuses on mel on farming melons quite a bit. So yeah, I respect it, I respect it. All right, so not too bad. Let's move on to the baldest of the OGs in the Discord. That's the IG and he goes by. His end game name is Aliex and he has a skill average of 30 after joining two years ago. Not too shabby. Lily weight of 1.5k. Farming level is pretty low. Alchemy is pretty low. Um, not too bad on fishing compared to to combat not too bad what is his fishing setup using salmon armor right now yog armor to mine not doing too shabby what mining level 42 yeah so his mining level is pretty high we don't really count enchanting considering how easy it is to level up but uh oh yeah missing a melodies here can i tell uh got some accessories to work on oh yeah got some accessories to work on that's fine i would just set down a redstone minion get your accessory bag upgraded got some good pets though very good fishing setup good mage pet good tank pet so if that's what you want then you're doing really good um epic lion's not too bad either not too bad on the pet heart of the mountain maxed out very good i think that's like the first profile we've looked at with a max heart of the mountain so very very nice on your mining catacombs 20 dude you're kind of popping off low key slayers are a little neglected minions are a lot neglected definitely invest in your minions 1000 percent can get so much money if you just buy some of these minions levels up like there's some of these combat minions you haven't even um started on yet so i would definitely do that forging minions you haven't even crafted yet definitely craft those up you'll get so many minion slots second thing i would say is talisman that's the big one other than that you're kind of chilling honestly honestly kind of chilling you're mining what is your mining setup right now what is the mining item i'm not sure what you're using for mining right now but we'll move on to mr wolf flash now this is our sixth profile that we're going to be looking at he has 207 point four million coins in his purse right now kind of a chad 25 mil in his bank account average skill level of 38.42 and he's already maxed out taming enchanting he's combat 48 mining 46 this is a very well-rounded profile based on skills i just say your alchemy needs a little bit of work t5 revs are so profitable yes sir i can tell I can tell. Man's been grinding T5 reps. Got Fierce Crimson with Necron Chestplate and some Sorrow Armor. Not bad. Got a good Final Destination set as well. He's got a Gemstone Gauntlet. Very nice. Very nice. Some good accessories as well. Dang, that is a really nice accessory bag. Missing accessories. He's missing Hegemony, Reaper. Dang, these are not too bad. Not bad at all. I would try and get your Bronze Tooth if you can. That's the main one. But other than that, all these are pretty expensive. Not bad at all. Speed Artifact. That's a good upgrade to get it's pretty cheap uh candy relics good as well not bad at all man very nice very nice dang he's got a level 100 legendary skatha pet man is hard chilling on his mining setup it looks like got the legendary wither skeleton that he's working on upgrading as well very good setup very good setup that i'm seeing so far man's grinding t5 reps right now as we speak looks like heart of the mountain is max dude i kind of like this this is a very good profile catacombs 33 that's higher than mine this I would say this profile is better than mine 
other than the skills. I think my skills are higher and my slayers are a bit higher, but like, dang, Wolf is a pretty, pretty close, about as close as he gets to my level. He's better than me at some things and worse than me at something. Uh, main thing is minion slots. Again, definitely got a lot of minions you can upgrade here for super cheap. Mithril is really low. Glowstone's really low. Your sand minion, super cheap to max out. There's a lot of mining minions here that need some work. A lot of combat minions, foraging minions. That's the main thing. But yeah, that's the main thing that I'm seeing right now. This is minions, a couple easy upgrades on the talismans, but I have a couple easy upgrades. I haven't done it yet either. Um, fishing, I would maybe invest in some fishing gear, work on your fishing a little bit, but very nice. Man's got a divin set with more slots than mine. So man is hard chilling. Very nice, very nice wolf. That is probably, I think that's the best profile we've looked at all day in my humble opinion, most well-rounded. All right, now we are looking at Mr. Y Zombie. Not too shabby, joined a month ago. This is his Iron Man profile. So this man is on an Iron Man right now okay let's keep that in mind this is an iron man profile joined a month ago with an average skill level 23.82 like one month old this profile is one month old on an iron man he's got a mineral helmet mineral leggings mineral boots with a glacite chest plate already holy cow he's got some dungeon gear that he's been using he's got a spooky set dude ender armor salmon for fishing brother what the heck man's already fishing 19 that's better than some of the profiles that were two years. Holy cow. Yeah, that's what I'm, but accessories, dude, for a month old, this is insane on a Iron Man. That is some craziness, brother. Holy cow. Holy cow. Are there, I don't think there's any easy ones to get here. Like Feather Talisman, that's probably the best one to get. Um, Farmer Orb seems pretty easy too, I think. But like, dude, man is hard chilling. Legendary Armadillo already. Like my guy. Yup, he's got Melody's hair, dude. This man in one month got Melody's hair and there's some profiles out here who don't have it after like three years. Bruh, Heart of the Mountain 4 in a month. He's got some Pico Nimbuses and he's already got a Ruby Drill. Like this is just, can, can we get a round of applause for my guy, dude? Cata 13 in a month. What a grinder. What a grinder. Slayers, I mean, that's fine. Honestly, in a month that is completely fine. Slayers are on an Iron Man. They're kind of good now with the new RNG system, but we move on to Mr. Big Vin. Okay, man joined a year ago. He is fishing 50, alk 50, enchanting 60, taming 50, almost mining 60. Dude, what? I haven't seen a fishing 50 profile yet. This is our first fishing chad with an average skill level of 46.9. Holy cow, holy cow. Uh, Reaper mask with man's using full magma lord gear with a reaper mask is reaper mask meta for magma fishing really i did not realize that he's got mana pool four mana pool three dude does he get like his sea creature what is his sea creature chance after all this he gets 13.5 percent from this plus 36 percent dude i want to know that's kind of crazy he's got recom jaded divins gear he's got some good ancient armor as well what's his damage setup i want to know what is his like dungeons does he do dungeons this might be a dungeon ignorer we might have a dungeon ignorer fishing chad here he's got gold hunter gear he's got every gold trophy fish in the game is what that means. he's got the withered livid dagger yeah i think we've got a dungeons ignorer here part let's let's scroll down a little bit no chat he's missing the melody's hair and the cat talisman bruh bruh okay i don't know why i don't know how my guy's a fishing chad and he doesn't have all the legendary talismans or the epic i get well yeah you gotta get all the epics and legendaries and then put like sea creature reforges on them right like isn't that the strat or not reforges but like um enrich he's got defense enrichments is magma lord just like insane for damage as well is that what it is holy cow what are these pets bro what are these pets no survivor cube bruh man is very much a fishing chat he's got the mythic level 100 flying fish dude that is kind of sick that is kind of sick mythic flying fish dripped the heck out legit legit he's got a kudra keys Juju Shortbow. He uses his AOTV, a Fire Veil Wand, Wand of Atonement. Dude, what the heck? There it is. He's got a treacherous auger rod as his fishing rod for non-lava. He's got his Heart of the Mountain Mac. He's got a Topaz Drill, a Titanium Drill 455, and a Gemstone Gauntlet. What is this pickaxe? A refined stonk, okay. He's got his 28 million counter sugarcane hoe my guy is a grinder where is it where is his lava fishing rod i want to see it treacherous inferno rod okay i think he was a fishing chad before 
the Crimson Isle came out, is what I'm getting. And then since then, he's been focusing more on mining after he hit Fishing Fit. And then he bought like all the new fishing gear, tried it out for a little bit. We'll see how his Crimson S in it essence is down at the bottom here he's done a little bit of dungeons nothing crazy yeah nothing too crazy on dungeon nothing too crazy on slayers either uh his minion slots aren't too bad he used a little bit of work but nothing crazy how about his okay he's got good crimson essence too so not too shabby what was his cata level what was the cata level here 28 yeah see like that's not too bad dang man that is a fishing chat if i've ever seen one um there's a couple accessories that's the main thing that i would focus on if your main goal is fishing you want to get every epic and legendary base accessory so when you recom the epic ones you can get the new enrichments and stuff and so then you'll be able to increase your sea creature chance if you need to but holy cow master ambush taming 50 combat 60 first combat 60 profile we've seen enchanting 60 rune crafting 25 a lot of these other skills looking a little low to have a combat 60 but a skill average of 38 that definitely says a lot joined two years ago with a lily weight of 8.5k okay i think we have a dungeons chat here yep ancient diamond living ahead with necron gear necrotic wither goggles and he's got a mage set up as well using a valkyrie all right that's the first wither sword that we've seen and he's using a valkyrie and he's got a terminator with an axe of the shredded too like my guy what the heck when you define a dungeons chat this is what we're looking at right now or i guess just a combat chat in general look at those accessories there he's got a melody's hair what an accomplishment right there what an accomplishment he is missing out on quite a bit here no netherrack looking sunshade or Audrey's tooth yet doesn't even have a king's house and actually kind of crazy level 99 ender dragon very nice he's got the whole floor seven grind going on right now he's got the rabbit hat slime hat bonzo mask plenty of dungeon chest keys dungeon poach all the things you could ever want main thing his mining looks very neglected mining is very neglected but i mean man is a dungeon chad he's got plenty of money more net worth than i'll see in a very very long time catacombs 43 and he does in seven runs he's killed 1400 necrons man definitely does m7 he's got really good slayers as well hasn't done blaze slayer yet but that's a lot of people your minion slots oh no oh no how are you this much of a chad with 12 minion slots brother brother this pains me to no end please get some minion slots please upgrade your minion slots holy cow that is painful that that's painful okay and that's a lot of really rough collect well it's fine it's fine it's fine looking rough on the essence i'm sure he sells it for profits okay minion slots that's all i'm seeing here other than that quite the chad and we're gonna end off on our last profile which is it's master four he joined two months ago has an average skill level of 23.7 with taming 31 combat 27 mining 21 he's already got forging 20 in two months that's pretty that's pretty good i'm gonna say that's about as high as i've got legit sharp livid dagger not bad not bad man this is a good setup for two months he's got a livid dagger five star with shadow assassin set but he does he is using a strong dragon chest plate right now instead of a shadow assassin chest plate but i mean for two months this is kind of crazy yep missing the melody's hair <laughs> a lot of talismans to be worked on of course but i mean for two months not bad at all not bad at all I already got an epic griffin in two months man that's pretty crazy that's pretty crazy looks like he's been grinding out the crimson isles a little bit got some compact ooze here some ember fragments been killing magma bosses huh okay heart of the mountain complete new completely neglected right now that's fine that's fine for two months and cata 15 i'm okay with that i'll i'll let it slide maybe when i have enough room in my accessory bag might be the play might be the play yeah redstone minions for sure nine minion slots he's still working on his bonus minion slots so you can tell profile's not that old but uh, those bonus minion slots will help out quite a bit definitely work on the minion slots but wow very good profile for two months that is very very good two months is not that long to be this far ahead of the game with shadow assassin very very impressive all right guys thank you so much for all the submissions we're gonna move on to the next episode later i'm doing 10 profiles every episode so to get into a future episode be sure to join the discord and link your skycrypt in the for youtube page i'll see you in the next episode god bless